All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your teacher, once again, Mr. Wu. Um, I'm here today because I want to talk to you about something important. And it's a new math term or a new math vocabulary word. And it's called the distributive property. What is it called? It's called the distributive property. Now, you may be wondering yourself what the distributive property is, and that's a great question to ask, and that's why I'm here to talk about what that property means and how it applies to math. But before we talk about the distributive property, I want to talk about the word distribute. What does the word distribute mean? The word distribute means to give away. Okay, the word distribute means to give away. So, for example, we do this every day. When you come to my math class and science class, I distribute the pencils. I give away, I pass out the pencils. I give it away. Okay, if you, um, on Halloween, if you pass out candy, okay, you're distributing candy, you're, you're, you're passing it out, you, you give it away, okay? So the word distribute means to give away or to pass out. Now, if I look at a question like this, seven times four plus two, most of you, what you want to do first is just solve the parentheses, and you're correct in doing that. Seven times, what's four plus two? <coughs> Excuse me. 4 plus 2 is 6. So 7 times 4 plus 2. So the first step is I solve the parentheses. Okay, 4 plus 2 is 6. So now I do 7 times 6. Okay, second step, 7 times 6. I multiply that. That's 42. So you see how this is a normally a two-step problem. I solve the parentheses. 4 plus 2 is 6. In the second step, I just multiply it. 7 times 6 is 42. Now, what if I ask you to solve the same problem using the distributive property? I'm still going to get the same answer, except I'm going to solve it differently. So there's going to be three steps to the distributive property. Let me repeat that. There are going to be three steps. <coughs> okay? Step one, I want to take this 7 and distribute it to both numbers. I repeat, I want to take that 7 and distribute it to both numbers. Okay? So what that looks like is I'm going to do 7 times 4. Because I took that 7, I distributed or gave it to the 4. That's how I got 7 times 4. Plus 7 times 2. I'm going to take that 7, I'm going to give it to the 2 over here as well. Okay? So you see how I set this up? I basically took this problem and break it, broke it down into two parts. 7 times 4 plus 7 times 2. The next problem, the next step is I'm going to solve it. 7 times 4 is 28 plus 7 times 2 is 7 plus times 2 is 14. Okay, now the third step, I'm just going to add 28 plus 14. 28 plus 14 is 42. You see how I use the distributive property to do this? 7 times 4 plus 7 times 2. I got 42 here, and the other way, I also got 42. There are two different ways to get the same answer, but if, you, if I ask you to use the distributive property of multiplication, this is what I mean. You take that 7, you distribute it to both numbers. Okay? Let's look at another example. <clears throat> what if I had 2 times 1 plus 3? Okay? Remember, there's three steps to the distributive property. And I need to see all three steps in your work. Let me repeat that. I need to see all three steps in your work. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the 2 to the 1. So I have 2 times what? 2 times 1. Plus, I need to distribute this 2 over here. Plus 2 times 2 times 3. Okay? Do you understand how I got 2 times 1 plus 2 times 3? The next step, I'm going to solve the parentheses. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, what's 2 times 3? Well, 2 times 3 is 6. Last step, I'm going to add up the 2 and the 6, which you give me 8. Do you see how I followed these three steps and solved this equation using the distributive property? Okay, let's do one more. <clears throat> what if I had 
6 plus 2 times 3. Okay? How many steps are there to distribute a property? I hope by now you remember that there's three steps. I have it listed out here. So first of all, distribute the 2, the 6 to the 2. Okay, so I have 6 times 2 plus, now I distribute that 6 over here to the 3, plus 6 times what? Times 3, okay? My next step, I solve the parentheses. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. My last step, I add up the numbers, okay? 12 plus 18. Okay, with 12 plus 18, 2 plus 8 is 0. Carry the 1 over, be 30. 12 plus 18 is 30. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how I'm going to use it. This is how you're going to use the distributed property of multiplication to solve these equations. What you're going to do next is a <coughs> excuse me, practice and answer some questions. I appreciate uh, you for watching this video, and I apologize for not being there today, but um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer you tomorrow, uh, those questions for you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, and good luck.